Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, we are now going to try some more indicators or find more indicators. Let me just uh, remove this indicator if you've not seen. Um, there we go. Okay, this is from a conversation or a video I made yesterday. Williams Orange Stochastic's best indicator for low time uh, Forex trading. So now it was recommended to try two more indicators. So we are in the Dukas Copy J Forex. We have one minute data pound against the yen. All right, so the first one I'm going to try to find if it even exists. It's been talked about quite a bit in my own group. Uh, what we're going to look for is um, Hurst, H-U-R-S-T. So I thought it didn't work. Um, as you know, there's probably millions of different um, indicators to use. Um, I have put out a, an alert to see if anybody wants to help out, but I'm not going to keep doing this and I'm wasting my time here. But I'm going to try this ADX, Average Directional Move to, in, um index so we are going to change the up and down trends the up being green red is down try out the um, bar more chart style here everything else will keep standard so let's see how this does um, now if the ADX seems to be slightly slightly lagging so this is a downtrend as you can imagine so that looks okay so let's try out the tick let's see how accurate this puppy is so i find this one a little weird tick and you have a downtrend and it's showing green i find this a little bizarre it seems to do okay on the minute chart. So it is down. Let's just watch what happens here. So the minute chart's slightly off. I don't know if it's as accurate as um, the Williams, but uh, let's see what happens here. See here, unless it's moving, this one's a little bizarre. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not a big fan of what I'm seeing here. When you have a downtrend starting here, it does go up, and then it comes back down. But it, it's missed all these movements here my mind that should have been must red means you know must have gotten these mixed up uh, I'll put trend up trend down that's right so on the trend down it's showing green on the uh, when it's showing up so it's the opposite but regardless of that some accuracy but again um, I don't think it's as accurate as the um, Williams so we'll do a comparative between the two so we'll do the Williams R percent R so we got that all in place so it's a one minute so even on the tick Yeah, it seems to be pretty accurate. It keeps up to date with the with the pricing action. So that's pretty accurate if you ask me. That's the most accurate I've seen. The other one that was um, that we came up with uh, is um, so that that's that's a definite one that keeps up with the pricing action, which is very good. And that's at a tick level. Okay, let's just do one more. Let's do a comparison. This one I've not mentioned in any videos. It's a Hilbert. So it's one of these. Uh, you could try the sine wave Hilbert transform. 
put on the <coughs> on the bid in our case. Um, let's try this with the usual downtrend and uh, lighter for the up and down trends on this lead sign. It's from some form of an expert here, which I'm definitely not. Okay, so there we go. So let's watch the tick. It's keeping up to date there, as you can see. Let's try the one minute. Very interesting how we have here still green, bit of an up movement. It does show some downside here, comes back up, but here's another little red combined. This is a good one, it looks like, and it seems to be keeping up to date on the minute pretty decently. And again, that's the HT sign. So we can see the degree of movement as well. So that is using, again, lead sign and sign. And we're just using default parameters. OK, so that looks not too bad. I uh, thought I'd just put that out there and see what you think. Let me know. Talk to you later.